thanks for being here. This is your weekly reading for November the 6th to November the 12th. From November the 6th to November the 12th. I keep on messing this up. From November the 6th to November the 12th. Okay, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or make a comment, um, but only if you'd like to. So I have everything shuffled and ready, so let's start your reading for Leo. So the first card you have in your past is, yes, the Nine of Swords. And yes, I'm sorry you have this card. So you've been through something that's obviously really upset you. And I can't quite see what this is, but this is something that um, you didn't see coming at all. It just suddenly hit you. And obviously you couldn't see into the future. Um, and I'm not sure if you can see it here, but the pattern on this quilt on the bed shows the signs of the zodiac. So this is the future in front of you that you can't see. These are all the signs of the zodiac. And yes, you had no idea this was coming to you. And also the swords are linked together, forming some sort of cage behind you or, you know, next to you. So you felt that you couldn't escape the situation either. So you could have been in grief or in shock or something really serious like that. And if you're still in this state, just try to focus on goals and things that you can control or, you know, just try to trying to be kind to yourself and do things to kind of slowly get you out of this. Um, you can definitely work your way through this, um, but it isn't easy to see where you're in this moment, I know. So the next card you have your past is the Ten of Wands. So yes, um, I'm sorry. Um, so this was like, this was like a huge weight on top of you. And you're being really hard on yourself as well for letting yourself um, get into this state and for letting it get to you so much. So I'm seeing that, um, I'm actually seeing what this is now. This is a love situation where you took on a lot of responsibilities and the other person wasn't taking on their share of responsibilities. And then what happened actually was suddenly they took advantage of you or they were doing this all along and this was revealed and you found out that they were really, really taking advantage of you um, in some really serious way. And you're a lion, so maybe you're too proud to ask other people to help you. But there is definitely one person, I mean, this is in the past, so you may have you may have got this help. But if not, if you're still suffering with this, there's one person who can help you. So please talk to this person. Don't be too proud. They're there to help you. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have in your past is the Eight of Swords. Yes, I'm sorry you have all these horrible cards. Um, I did shuffle them, but yes. Um, Yes, if you're still in this, please, please talk to someone and get some help because there is one person, I can see this again, um, there's this person who can help you and they want to help you and they're, they're the right person to help you. So reach out to this person and you know who this is. So for your present, the first card you have is the Ace of Wands. So I'm seeing that now um, you're trying to focus all your energies um, on achieving a goal and this extreme focus is partly to try and take your mind off this horrible situation that you've been through in your past. And you'll have a lot of energy at this time, so you'll be rushing ahead, you'll be doing a lot. Um, but this is adrenaline is what I'm seeing is because you're just, it, it's stress, it's, com it's stress that's coming out as energy, that's what I'm seeing. So just be aware that after some time you could have, or you will have some sort of drop in this energy as well. So just be aware of this happening to you and when it does just try and rest and take care of yourself when you need to. So the next card you have your present is the chariot. So yes, this is great that you have all these energetic cards for your present because this is what you need. You're just going to focus and you're just going to have this energy and it's going to really help to take your mind off things. It won't totally, but it will help you. This will help you. And this is also going to help you to move you're going to be moving towards some interesting new things. Um, so this thing that you're working on is going to take you, move you to something else that's quite interesting and also will move you to, to get to know some new people as well. So you get to know a whole lot of new people too from this. Um, so that's really good. It's kind of, it's a channel in a way. It's taking you from one situation to a new situation. So the last card you have your present is the Page of Cups. So I'm sensing that this is about you gradually um, taking steps to free yourself from this past situation and this past person. And at this time, you're just realizing this person not only took advantage of you, but they're also, um, I'm seeing jealousy around this love situation as well and some petty behavior. So this is all about um, 
your emotions and your feelings and you were feeling either you were feeling some sort of jealousy or they were and you're just at this point in time in your present you're just thinking about how you're feeling at this time you're thinking about this jealousy and you're thinking about all of these feelings you had and they had around this love situation in your past but you're starting to see all of this as you work through this and process this process all of these things so this is just a time of um, transition for you you're just processing what's happened so the first card you have your future is the Empress so this is a really beautiful card I love this card and yeah I'm glad you have this card um, this is the time when you have less energy um, but it's not going to be as if you have a slump in energy and you just fall in your bed and you can't move it's not like that you're going to realize that this is this time and it's like you knew this was going to come and you're going to just take this time and just rest just take care of yourself and you're just going to be relaxing at this time and this is what you really need you need a break from all of this work anyway in this focus um, and yes I'm also seeing that you have some people around you who want to help you with something so it might be this project you're working on even though you're taking a break from it you're finding people are, are coming along saying I want to help you I can I can do this to help and one of these people could actually be attracted to you that's what I'm seeing um, but they're not telling you this yet it's something they're just keeping to themselves and you're not ready for a new person anyway yet but they might reveal themselves to you in your future they might you know they might stick around until you are ready or they might not reveal themselves to you but there is somebody who feels this way about you um, in your future they're going to this is in your future I should say so the next card you have your future is the nine of wands so yes you're going to be really resting and just making yourself strong again you're going to picking going to start picking up your strength again at this time and you're still a bit tired and you're still still you know you're still processing everything but you're feeling a lot stronger than you were and I'm also seeing that someone who has um, someone who knew this person or knows this person um, from the nine of swords um, sorry this person from the ten of wands I should say um, And the nine of swords it's both <laughs> sorry I'm just getting I'm just thinking about what is happening with this card. yes somebody who knows this person might be questioning you in your future so what I'm seeing is that um, this could be a relative of this person who you're involved with and they're going to come and ask you questions they're going to question you and they're going to be kind of on this person's side and not on your side so it's something like that so if this is a relative who comes to cause trouble or ask you things try and st stay as strong as you can um, because you've come really really far so try not to let these people set you back um, whatever you do just don't let these people set you back because you've come so far with everything um, yeah that's what I'm seeing um, so the last card you have your future is three of wands so yes I'm happy you have this card because after everything you've been through um, you still have a lot of hope for your future and this is when you're going to start really thinking and planning things that you truly truly want and when you start planning this out and you start talking to people um, about these plans there'll be people around you who'll be able to help you so I'm seeing that this is also I mean this was also in the Empress that people are around you wanting to help you with these plans and some project and yes they're still here in the three of wands these people um, so there will be someone around you who'll be able to help you and please say yes to this person or these people um, there could be one or more people and yes they'll be the right people to help you they'll have the right kind of knowledge or experience or something and they're kind people they're good people or this person or whoever this is um, really really wants to help you it could be one person or it could be more than one one person um, yes yeah, so Leo I hope this resonated but again this is a general reading so it won't always resonate with everyone as I always say but if you'd like please like or subscribe or leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do and thank you so much for watching